Good morning. My name is John Ryan. I'm the mayor in the village of Alsip, and I'd like to welcome everyone for joining us here today uh, to celebrate, a, really to acknowledge a, a great occasion uh, where the state of Illinois is helping local business here in the community of the village of Alsip. Uh, just briefly, I'd like to acknowledge that uh, I met uh, the representatives of LB Steel a little over a year or so ago when uh, I was at their plant in uh, Harvey, Illinois, where Amtrak ordered uh, 28 high-speed rail trains to go 160 miles an hour. And LB Steel actually makes the suspensions for those locomotive trains. Um, is a lot of state representatives were there, a lot of local officials, and including the uh, vice president of Amtrak. Uh, my job as a leader in our community is to always engage and network with other entities uh, to try and um, really promote our economic development. And uh, I met Mike Goyich from LB Steel and asked him if I could pair him up with anyone from ALSIP, and uh, he said yes. He says he'd like to expand his operations and uh, was looking for some considerable land. And I rattled off an address of 3350 West 131st Street. He said, that's exactly it. He goes, I'm, I'm looking at that. Can you help me get in there? I'm, I says, absolutely. So. Um, as the case would be, uh, here we are today with the state of Illinois helping to clean up some brownfield uh, land. And at the same time, we're going to create jobs. It, it, that's always the goal of every community is to create jobs and develop their properties. I've been blessed in my first term in office uh, to have over $90 million worth of investment in ALSIP. Uh, we're a community of 20,000 residents at night, and that number doubles day in the day with all the uh, manufacturing and distribution. So again, I really welcome and thank everyone uh, responsible for helping uh, this company develop brownfield uh, land uh, to develop, obviously, business and, more importantly, jobs uh, to help families in, in this time. So at this time, uh, I want to thank Governor Pritzker for being with us this morning. I'd like to introduce J.B. Pritzker, Governor of Illinois. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Mayor, and I very much appreciate the introduction. And, uh, and uh, as you say, uh, $90 million of new investment here in Alsip. Um, we want to double, triple that, so let's keep going. Um, so look, I uh, first want to say to all of you uh, how happy I am to be standing here talking about job creation and growing our economy. Uh, it is something that I believe in. It's something that I've uh, been uh, working on since day one in office uh, and uh, being able to stand here and talk about the beginnings of something really great for the Southland and for ALSIP is just, it's a thrill for me. Uh, I want to take the opportunity uh, to uh, introduce our new director of the Department of Commerce and Economic Opportunity, Sylvia Garcia, who has hit the ground running. Uh, and she's only been in, on the job for about four days, not even four full days. Uh, but uh, she is someone who gets things done. And we're in a moment in our world where uh, as things are turning, as we vaccinate more people, as our numbers come down, we now have a real opportunity for, to attract businesses, to grow businesses all across the state of Illinois. And we're going to take advantage of this moment under Sylvia's leadership, too. Um, to representatives Justin Slaughter and Bob Rita, and I'm sorry that Bob's standing all the way over there, not in the picture here, and I wish there was a, yeah, maybe you can stand right here, because the two of them truly are leaders in Springfield, leaders on behalf of their communities, and uh, leaders in support of economic development efforts that catalyze private investment and create jobs and opportunity for underserved communities. Uh, and especially for the beloved Southland. Uh, I want to give a big shout out to uh, Reggie Greenwood and to uh, the Southland Economic Development Council for their years long commitment to capitalizing on the region's supply chain strengths. Today we mark a big step forward in their mission and in our collective mission. Today I'm proud to announce the state of Illinois support for a new transportation distribution and logistics hub here in Alsip, turning a former refinery uh, three miles away, uh, about three miles, right? Yes. Uh, so into an accelerant.
for opportunity in the area. The Southland is already home to one of the largest concentrations of workers in warehousing anywhere in the state and with the rise of e-commerce, uh, and I think we've seen that significantly during the COVID crisis, uh, the industry is expected to grow considerably, adding thousands more jobs in the years ahead. Um, manufacturing, transportation, distribution, logistics, uh, so many opportunities in the Southland retail. Uh, we, we have a lot of work to do, but today is an example of what we can and will be doing. Our announcement here in the Southland is one of 11 new capital development projects that I'm announcing today across the state through our Shovel Ready Infrastructure Capital Program. By giving these initiatives the, the upfront and transformative funding boost that they need to move forward, we're spurring a chain of new public and private investments aligned with what the communities want to see. Now, I want to zero in on that because it's a cornerstone of this effort. We're investing in projects that fit the economic development plans for each region, maximizing the long-term return on local investments. So while we're funding a transportation logistics project in one place, uh, in Marion, we're expanding commercial and residential building space. In Calumet Park, we're increasing transit accessibility. We're building affordable housing for seniors in East St. Louis. And we're converting brownfield land and obsolete buildings in many other communities uh, that will make way for developable land and broader economic development in the area. And in Auburn Gresham, where I announced our first Rebuild Illinois Shovel Ready project last summer, it's Green Era's Renewable Energy and Urban Agriculture Center, uh, scheduled to be completed in 2022. After nearly a decade without a new capital program by the state of Illinois, when I ran for governor, I promised that I would propose and pass a robust capital bill to build jobs and opportunity across the state by fixing our roads and our bridges, rebuilding our airports and our waterways, uh, bring, bringing um, broadband internet to every corner of the state of Illinois with a $400 million investment that is multiplied by private investment alongside it of at least one to one. So we're talking about nearly a billion dollars being invested in broadband internet for places in the state that don't have it or places that have lower speed internet. Um, and then I, I want to say that it was a bipartisan coalition in the General Assembly, including th these two tremendous leaders that stand with me today, that worked with me to pass the Rebuild Illinois plan. It's our state's largest ever infrastructure investment program. And it's no secret that COVID-19 has changed life for all of us. But even in a pandemic, especially in a pandemic, we must invest in new jobs to lift up our residents. Investing in infrastructure lays the groundwork for companies to choose Illinois, to choose ALSIP, and to expand operations here. In the last fiscal year alone, we improved 1,700 miles of highway. We completed 600 highway projects and over 120 bridges. In the first half of this fiscal year, we've already improved 1,300 more miles of highway and 65 more bridges. We've awarded 270 new projects and we've completed major initiatives like the Chicago Veterans Home. And today we advance our vision here in the Southland, as I promised. I believe in the Southland. The promise of better days ahead um, has always been here. It's always been here in Alsip, and we're now beginning to realize those days. These difficult times have brought a whole lot of challenges to all of our residents, to our small businesses, to our frontline workers, and in doing so, they've underscored the vital importance of smart investments that open new doors for working families and ensure that nobody falls through the cracks. We have more work to do, there's no doubt about that, but together we are building a new Illinois where we're restoring progress in the Southland, where we're helping to revitalize it as an economic engine serving all the people of the region. I want to thank all of you. I want to thank the mayor 
and the representatives that are with me, the economic development executives, and everybody that's involved in really creating new jobs and opportunity here. And it's my pleasure to turn it over to a longtime advocate for this neighborhood uh, and for this town uh, and for really for all of the people of Illinois and that's Southland Economic Development Council Director, Reggie Greenwood. Reggie. Well, good morning and, and what a pleasure and thank you so much Governor Prisker for both this award for investing in uh, sites in the Chicago Southland and also just also for coming here and, and making a, a, a point that uh, the Southland is a particularly important spot for revitalizing the economy here and also for revitalizing the economy in uh, the state of Illinois. Uh, to my right is a, a photograph or a design of the site that we're working on. Uh, this is a site that's been vacant for approximately 10 years maybe, at least. at least 10 years. It has really damaging um, old infrastructure that need, or buildings that need to be torn down to make it shovel ready. We're partnering with a private sector company to do this work, but the challenges to the site are so severe it just doesn't work without just kind of public-private partnership to bring the resources together to make this site vi viable. A particular asset of this site and why it is economically viable with this partnership is this rail access. If you look at the picture, you will see the Indiana Harbor Beltway goes past the site, and indeed there are two railroad spurs that come off the uh, IHB and can be here. That is one of the the assets of this site, but it also is an asset of the whole region. The Chicago Southland is kind of re being reborn over the last several years because of companies are recognizing the unique collection of rail and highway access to our region. We have every, I think, five class one railroads come through here. We have access to intermodal sites that connect us to the, the wide world of this area and that's why they're locating here. A particular recent investment that's locating here because of this is that little term uh, e-commerce. Uh, Amazon has made a huge investment into the Chicago Southland. They literally will have, by the end of this year, uh, 13 million square feet of new industrial space. Yes, 13 million, it's unbelievable. Two of the buildings, by the way, are not buildings with robots. They actually call the building a robotic building. It's intriguing that these two buildings give us an opportunity not only to help people get entry-level jobs at Amazon, but also to get new higher paid jobs to maintain those robots. We're working with them to actually create a mechanical electrical robotic apprenticeship, working closely with DCO on that. So I think it's important to recognize that this investment in ALSIP is a key part of making something happen in the Southland. We have to recognize that the big driver here, the big opportunity are these unique collection of transportation assets and a dedicated workforce. Uh, so we've developed working with a, you know, Governor State University and a, a workforce company called OAI we have a collection of really working together to put something together with our other big partner, of course, is Cook County. Together, we have made something, we're making something happen here, particularly the Bureau of Economic Development. So it's a pleasure to be here. I'm so honored by this investment in our organization. I, uh, we're gonna do a really good job of getting this site uh, uh, ready again. So one of our real key partners here, I'm happy to introduce is Director Garcia, who, as she just said, she's been here for four days. Uh, so she's really coming on board uh, and to help us make something happen in the region. So I'm pleased to introduce uh, Director Garcia. Thank you for the introduction, Reggie. Good morning, everyone. My name is Sylvia Garcia, and I'm the Acting Director of the Department of Commerce and Economic Opportunity. As the Governor Re Reggie mentioned, this is my first week on the job, um, and I'm really happy to be here with all of you to kick off a transformational project for the Southland. 
I want to thank the governor for the opportunity to serve our great state of Illinois and look forward to working with the General Assembly and community leaders to bring forward many more projects like this one that will enhance economic opportunity for all of our communities. Here in the Southland, Rebuild Illinois funds will jumpstart the Alsip Transportation Distribution and Logistics Center, allowing the community to continue to capitalize on recent growth, as Reggie was mentioning, that's made the region a top destination for shipping and logistics. Using their shovel-ready site funds, um, which are unique because of their ability to invest in critical infrastructure that makes economic development possible. Um, the Southland EDC will team with developers and local stakeholders to unleash the economic potential of a long vacant site wedged between two major rail lines. This, this ability to unleash that economic potential is really important on this funding. Um, and so this project and other funded projects in communities like Metro East, Marion, Rockford, Rochelle, and Peoria represent a clear example of how we're using the governor's five-year economic plan as a roadmap to unlock catalytic investments in our communities. For many of these projects, the Rebuild Illinois funds were the missing piece to get work underway. And when matched with local and private funds, this $11 million in state funding is going to result in a total of $57 million in economic investment. This is a prime example of how government dollars can unlock private capital and maximize a return to a community. In turn, we'll deliver projects that expand local opportunity while giving companies yet another reason to invest and expand here in, in Illinois. Projects like these are a small but important lever in our economic strategy, seeding broader economic development projects that will set the stage for growth across the state. An important part of the governor's five-year economic plan is reducing the equity gap in economic development through investment in underserved communities which is why all of these capital programs were required to have a uh, inclusion plan as part of the process. This really helps us leverage our capital dollars to maximize diversity and inclusion. These plans will detail how each project will help to build capacity and build jobs in communities that need them most. These plans help ensure opportunities exist for firms working on this project and make sure that those firms reflect the diversity of our state. I recognize the significant of these significance of these investments at this time, um, as, the mayor, as, as the mayor said, as Reggie said, as the governor said, there's a lot of need in ALSIP, um, and with the pandemic, it's been really important to invest in communities that need them. Finally, I want to recognize the tre tremendous impact that the Rebuild program has had um, with the help of our dedicated DCEO team. Um, over the past several months, we've been able to um, deploy $100 million in projects, ranging from broadband modernization, as the governor mentioned, to community redevelopment accelerated construction projects, and capital dollars to help small businesses repair and expand their infrastructure. I think it's a testament to our state's leadership that we have been able to modernize, modernize and mobilize an incredible volume of capital um, at a time when we're delivering a record number of economic relief and grant programs as well. So really moving forward that capital investment while also responding to the pandemic has been a, a, a great success for the state as we move forward and try to rebound the economy. Given my background in the federal, at the federal level and at the local level, I have seen firsthand the impact that capital infrastructure can have on economic development. I'm really excited to take that experience into my new role here as a member of the Pritzker administration and strategically unlock capital dollars to spark economic growth and opportunities for all of Illinois. With that, it's now my pleasure to turn it over to a leading advocate for economic growth in the Southland, Representative Slaughter. Thank you. Thank you, Director Garcia. Welcome to the state government family. <laughs> great, great, great to, to, to have you. Uh, good morning, uh, Illinois State Representative Justin Slaughter of the 27th District, representing the far south side of Chicago and also the southwest Cook County suburbs. Welcome to the 27th District. Uh, Mr. Governor, it's third press conference in less than 24 hours in three different regions of the state. Not bad, JB. Uh, Mr. Governor, I want to thank you just for your steadfast uh, efforts and commitment um, and your action that you've taken to implement and to push bold, innovative economic development initiatives in Illinois, uh, which you've done with uh, Rebuild Illinois, uh, has been absolutely tremendous for our state. Um, and of course, it's great to be here with my friend, our host, uh, Alsip Mayor John Ryan, thank you for everything that you do as a leader, uh, not just here in the village of Alsip, but for the entire Southwest Cook County uh, region. Um, just as a state rep in the area, and Representative Rita can also attest to this, uh, it's just been an honor and, and a privilege to serve alongside of you. Your collaborative approach 
has made all of the difference uh, here in, in the region. Uh, Mayor Ryan and I are delighted, we're excited about this announcement today. Um, he and I have actually been discussing this, talking about this uh, for a little while now. ALSIP is, is home to uh, one of the more robust, thriving, opportunistic industrial manufacturing corridors in our state. You'll see if you, you, you take a tour, and Mayor Ryan and I have, have, have done a couple of these, these tours before, what jumps out at you is uh, its TDL, Transportation Distribution and Logistics Capabilities. Uh, this funding for the Southland um, Economic Development Corporation allows us to take advantage of this great opportunity to expand and enhance our ALSIP TDL Center. This initiative plays to our strengths. We're doubling down on one of the fastest growing initiatives in our state. With this funding, the Southland quickly is transforming into a beacon of regional economic development. When you think about supply chain opportunities, uh, the governor was just talking about this, and all the critical manufacturing and industrial connections to our rail and highways, this will undoubtedly spur maintain and create hundreds and thousands of jobs. Modernizing TDL is the best investment our state can make for our, our, our economy. And I'd be remiss if I did not also mention uh, Director Garcia um, was, was, was really highlighting this. When you talk about, and also the governor and I having a, a conversation about this yesterday, when you talk about lifting up the middle class, um, addressing a lot of myriad of, of, of challenges in underserved communities with, with jobs and economic development, uh, communities of color here in the Southland, this being uh, about a 15, 20 minute ride just from the south side of, of Chicago. Think about the job training uh, opportunities that this is going to bring. Think about in, in, in what Reggie Greenwood talked about, the apprenticeship program uh, and those opportunities and also the exposure, right? Do these individuals and families that come from underserved communities, are they exposed to uh, the opportunities and, and what it can mean to have a career in TDL? This is a very, very special investment for our state. I truly believe that it's the type, these types of projects will make us a national leader I want to congratulate the, the other 10 uh, projects throughout the state. This is indeed a great day for ALSIP and the entire Southland region. Thank you for having me today. With that being said, I'm going to bring up my colleague. Uh, Representative Rita is the chair of the executive, House Executive Committee, um, the most critical, important chairmanship that you can have in our chamber. Um, it goes without saying he's done so much throughout his career for uh, the south side of Chicago, but also for the Southland. Uh, my friend, leader, State Representative Bob Rita. Thank you, uh, Representative Slaughter, my colleague. Uh, I'm uh, State Representative Bob Rita, the 28th district. As you know, uh, uh, our Senate districts are comprised of uh, two representative and so Justin's my other half. So we work very closely together on all these different uh, projects through the communities that we represent. And working together is when you're able to uh, see projects like this uh, uh, come together. Early on, Governor uh, Pritzker uh, made a commitment to the Southland. And today we see that his commitments come through when we talk about these different fundings throughout the state, but in particular to the Southland here with the leadership of Mayor Ryan, uh, seeing an investment into the village of, uh, in, into Alsip. There's also a project in Cayman Park, which is in my district, all related to this transportation. So thank you very much, Governor Pritzker, for listening to us early on and coming through on the commitment. Him being here shows that his, his word has been good. He's continued to want to work with the Southland and, and all areas th throughout the state. When we were working on the Capitol bill early on, 
And when we signed the Capitol Bill, we talked about creating jobs, creating investments in communities, and, and what this would mean to all these different communities by putting the capital dollars into, the, into these neighborhoods, into these villages, and today we're seeing that. We do have a lot of land, a lot of blighted land. And to attract companies and attract business, to help with our tax base and to create jobs, we need to put investments like we are here today. And so I'm very proud to stand here that when we started with the Capitol Bill, we, we finally passed the Capitol Bill and then we're able to see what it means to these communities like Alsip, Cayman Park, and the entire Southland. Um, so thank you very much. And working together with, 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 with our director, our new director, and, and, and organizations like Reggie Greenwood's, what makes it possible. Um, it was mentioned about the railways and expressways. We also have waterways. We have everything in the Southland here for transportation. When you talk about rail, water, and expressways, uh, which comes to mind is the I-57-294 project that was uh, uh, about a decade ago. We started that uh, project working with Reggie Greenwood and a number of the mayors, all the mayors in the Southland, and we talked about how that corridor would open it up by having them two expressways have access to each other. Uh, we're in the final phase of that construction and this is where these companies now are starting to look because of the access of what we, we have here in the Southland. So thank you very much, uh, Governor, for your commitment and coming through on uh, investing in our communities that we represent, what it means to us and what it means to the, the entire Southland. Um, I believe uh, I'd like to call the governor up for some questions and answers. Governor Pritzker, if you'd like to answer some questions and answers. And thank you again. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Happy to take any questions from members of the media. Should I just ask myself some questions? <laughs> no, no, we're good. 